So welcome once again. We are proceeding with what we call waves, the transmission of a disturbance. This lesson I want to continue clarifying waves and then we are going to, to check what transverse waves and longitudinal waves are, which are the classifications of mechanical waves. So mechanical waves, which are the waves which require material media for transmission, are further classified in longitudinal and the transverse. So in this case, we can start with the transverse waves. Transverse waves. And under transverse waves, we should note that uh, in transverse waves, in transverse waves, the movement of particles is in right angles. Is in right angle. wave motion. The best example of this is waves on a string. Waves on a string. So we are saying these are waves in which the movement of particles is at right angles or is at right angles right angles with the wave motion. Let's take the example of waves on a, on a string. So when a string is held, when a string is held at a fixed hand, then we have the other hand, the other hand at a fixed support. So we have a fixed support here, fixed support. So we have a string tied here, or a wire. Then we have a hand. We have a hand. We have a hand holding. We have a hand holding the other end. Then now we have this sling or this uh, string vibrated from this end upwards and downwards. So if this string is vibrated upwards and downwards, up, down, half down, we will generate some waves here. We will generate some waves here. Therefore, when you generate some waves there, you realize that uh, <coughs> you realize that the particles of the string are moving up. The particles of the string are moving up, then down, then up again, then down, then up again, then down, until they reach this fixed end. Until they reach this fixed end. Therefore, you find under transverse waves, under transverse waves, you realize that uh, the particles are going up and down, again up and down, yet the wave motion is going towards the fixed hand. Therefore, if this is the wave motion, the wave train sometimes, the wave motion. So if the wave train is going towards this fixed hand and the particles are moving up and down, it means the movement of these particles is finding the wave motion at right angles. So the wave motion is going straight or horizontally towards the fixed end while the particles are moving up and down, up and down, up and down until we reach the fixed end. So this is what we call a transverse wave. Therefore, transverse waves move in such a way that it forms what we are calling crests. So these ends, these ones are called crests. These ends, let me 
Lepo de muerte. These ones are called crests. The farthest tops, where these particles crest. They are called crests. These are crests. Even this one is another crest. But now, the lowest point where they are reaching is called traps. Therefore, we can generally say that in transverse waves, the particles move in such a way that crests are created, alternating with the traps. Therefore, if the particle reaches the topest, we call it a crest, and it goes again to the most bottom part, and we are calling this one a trough. Therefore, it creates crests and traps. Crests and traps. Crests and traps. Therefore, now, we say that uh, in transverse waves, this is a wave in which crests alternate with traps. That is one characteristic of transverse waves. Again, in transverse waves, we say that motion is at right angles with the wave motion. So if the wave motion is towards a certain fixed end, the particles in a transverse wave will move up and down such that they are meeting at right angles. That is why we say transverse waves, particles are at right angles with the, with the wave tree. So that is a, what we call transverse waves. Okay, though we will be defining the terms later, it is good I mentioned that from two successive crests, from these crests together, there is the distance which is covered from one crest to another. From one crest to another. So from this crest to the other crest, this distance, this one, we call it wavelength. Wavelength, it is a it is abbreviated as lambda, which is a Greek word with the sign for this one. So we usually say that uh, <clears throat> the distance between two successive crests or between two successive troughs, from this trough to the other trough, from this trough to the other trough, that distance we can also call it another wavelength. So wavelength is the Greek name is lambda and it's abbreviated like that. So that is what we call one wavelength. The distance either between two successive crests or two successive traps, we call it one wavelength. So that is <clears throat> All we can see about transverse waves, transverse waves. So from a, from a transverse wave, we are going to define other terms like uh, frequency, other terms like amplitude, because later on we'll be knowing that whatever we call amplitude, Amplitude is the distance or the maximum displacement of particles from the mean position, from the mean position to either side. So from the mean position, if this is a wave making traps and crests alternating, we have a mean position. We have a mean position, this is the mean position. So 
So we are saying that from this mean position, a particle will make a crest and come back to the mean position, then proceed to make a trough like that. Therefore, from this position, the highest displacement, this one, either upwards, this is what we are calling amplitude here, or this one, so, so amplitude. So this distance, we are calling it amplitude. This distance is also amplitude, like that. So that is what we call amplitude. So we can meet in the next lesson as I elaborate what we are calling longitudinal waves, now that we have understand, we've understood transverse waves. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grids.